Yeah, yeah. Which one? That one. Yeah. How's it going? Good. So, hopefully, I'm not screaming at you and it's loud enough to be heard. All that good stuff. The Camaro Z28. We're finally there. We're going to do it. Um, I have opened the box. I can't remember if I rebagged everything or not, but we will see. It's, um, yeah, classic. Um, the Camaro Z28 1969 version. Yep. 1,456 pieces. 18 and older. Yep. So. Yeah, it's going to take a little while to build this, I'm sure. So, not in a hurry. Um, cool door handles and everything. And there are some variations to it. Well, that's a picture of, like, the real one kind of thing. Um, we don't get the red pieces. The black. We get black with white stripes. Or we can have red stripes. Burgundy stripes kind of thing. Get the red interior. You can make it a convertible. Yep, I guess the hood will open. Some sort of engine building to be done. Um, it, it should be a substantial size. Uh, what's that when it's all done? Yeah, 35.5 centimeters or 13.5 inches. I don't have my ruler on hand, but yep. A car yeah it's not for right there's no figures to go with it it's not that it's a you know it's a model um cool yeah apparently the doors are open the trunk the hood Very nice. So, yeah, it also comes with a set of fuzzy dice. Well, they're not actually fuzzy, but they're Lego imitation fuzzy dice to hang over the rear view mirror. It, it, it was it was all the rage back in the day. Just notice that got the exhaust pipe as well. Nice. So. Let's get into it. See, I don't even remember. Um, what's in it? I have opened it because just taped back. Otherwise, it just flops open and it doesn't sit on a shelf well without a little tape holding it down. Here. Yeah, it was originally sealed there. And I've looked in it. Where do I want to open it? I don't know. Opened it on both sides. Okay, give me a second. Find my letter opener. Stuff will be. Oh, really? Hello? <laughs> nice. Yeah. Stinky person, yeah? Good. Hello and welcome. Legos for it says right on it 18 or plus. It's like, look at that right there, right on it. We're certified, qualified, ought to be. We'll find out though. Some of them are eight plus, eight, eight, age eight and plus. Got to scratch my head for a while on them. Legos are awesome. <laughs> Must have been a mistake when they printed it, you say, huh? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, no, it's all original packaging. Oh, let's see what we're getting ourselves into. Oh, my goodness. Tired to go bouncing down the highway. 
All right, we'll get back to that in a minute. More, more stuff. Oh my goodness. Bet that's our instruction booklet. See, Lego's pretty good about that. They won't leave us hanging. Give us a step-by-step. -step. Oh, I forgot the weather. Forty-three and cloudy, Happy Valley, Oregon. Currently, we're expecting rain later, perhaps. Chance of it. Our tires. That's pretty good. There goes up to bag five. Bag six. Bag eight. Three. Four. Seven. One. And two. Boy, that's a lot of crinkly noise. So I'm going to go get some Ziplocs. Well, I'll do that for myself later. After I take it apart, I guess. We'll just go fresh out of the bag. Uh-huh. We're going to start with bag one, I bet. Yeah. They're so noisy. Bag eight won't be for a while. It's got the, the wheels in it. That's cool. It's just the thing. I'm not a speed builder. This isn't happening all in one sitting. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Those will be at the ready. Yeah, right. I had to clear a spot because it's, you know, if I get in a couple of sessions a week, if we're lucky, this could be three weeks or more, maybe two bags a day. If I'm lucky, a bag a day. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, well, isn't that nice? I don't know what that's for. We could frame it. Oh. More sustainable packaging. Hmm. Okay. Uh oh, oh, I ruined it. Ruining it more. So I'm going to get rid of that tape. Probably should have just cut it instead of tore it up, tearing it off. Yeah. The secret plans. And decals. Sweet. Guess there's some variation choices. Or maybe we'll have a couple of plates and one for each. We'll deal with that later. That cool. In the garbage. Um, let's see. Yeah. Stickers. Decal, some Zeke 28, Camaro, the license plate, Chevy 69. Uh, Michigan, California, little radio. See if I can get that to focus in on it. Yeah, that one there. It's like your radio with the big push buttons. Yeah, pretty cool. Caution, is that what that says? Yep, caution. This over here it says model team. Magazine, hot something, can't make it out. Can't make it out. Can you read it? 
nope, can't get it into focus. Maybe right there, if you could read that, maybe. Nice. You do it all in 30 minutes, and if I missed that from some time ago, you know, a few minutes back. And right, the packaging doesn't look sustainable so much, yeah. Just the comment that they're uh, going with both plastic and paper, and that they put this in an envelope, maybe. Which I don't think they needed to, well, maybe. It could get, yeah. Wow, nice. That's pretty substantial. Booklet. A lot of pages there. Do it all in about 30 minutes. That'd be great. Not me. Wow, look at that. The whole eleve el evolution all the way to the 16. 2016. Yeah, look at that. Be nice. Yeah, I gotta decide on the configuration though, whether we go with the, the burgundy, the gray, or the white stripes. Hmm. Well, it's convertible hard top. Gotta make the hard top. Anywho, wow. Look at that. All right. Good. Well. Bags one, two, and three is going to make us all the way up through that much. Yeah. And then four, five, and six will get us up to that point. Seven and eight get us there with some options. Convertible or non-convertible. Yeah. Got another one of these in the bag. Mm-hmm. They do come in handy. All right. Let's dive right in. Let's see, oh, probably needed to move my chair in a bit. Bag one. They say to open it. Do that. Oh. Extra bits can kind of pile up here. For now. Uh bag one. Dump it out. It's our step one. Sub bags with smaller pieces in it. Kind of spread those out a bit. So, Ryan, if you want to build a head, you can in your head. Do it in 30 minutes. You like be asking me to open up the other bag so you can get it finished. Well, that's gonna have to wait. <laughs> Let's get these open. Empty out the contents of bag one. And yeah, when I you know I build them, and I'll take them apart, and put them into Ziploc bags and they're there to be built another day. Oh, yeah. Should be able to see all those. And yep, hopefully I won't lose any pieces. Haven't lost any yet. I mean, temporarily, they've gone missing, but... All pieces have been located. Oh, what was I talking about? Um, probably lots of stuff, but right, as a side jaunt, as we dive into step one and we gather up our parts, probably that piece, and then a couple of these little black cylindrical doohickeys, doodads, two of them. We're going to do that with them. Yep. Pick a side, any side. One goes in there like that. That's a good snap. Not like that. So, yeah, I just finished building a new gaming computer. Um, over the last... It seemed like forever. 
and it, it was probably very close to, you know, you'll see how slow this goes. You could imagine doing a computer like that. Um, oh, be careful. Rip stuff. Easy does it, fella. Um, step one's done. We're moving on to step two while I try and think about the thing I'm trying to tell you about. We're going to gather up two of these pieces. Right there's one of them. Same as before, but it's for step two now. And then the blue ones are a little bit longer, about the same diameter. I don't know, what do we call these? They probably have a good name. I just don't. It's like an axle of some sort. I mean, right? It, maybe. We're doing this. Um, two slots in, pin it on each side. Oh, see, now these blue ones are asymmetric in which they have this um, skirt here that's not in the center, whereas the black ones, the skirt's in the center. We want the short side inserted. There. And on this side, like that, and then the black ones skip a hole. Power in there. So yeah, I finished building my gaming PC, and we also just finished step two of the build. Now with these very large ones, they don't have the they don't have the cool build bar down here that the other instructions have for the smaller models. It's kind of cool, but that this is like an Freaking novel. Jeez. That's cool. Yep. But um, the computer build, you can, you know, go back and see the videos from before or go to my YouTube channel and see them there in that playlist. It's our cool tool. You know, there were problems with it, but got it all worked out in the long run. Um, currently not streaming on that one. This is still the old computer it's still relevant um but yeah i've had you know been testing it i think we'll take it for a run a little later um just can't decide what to play now that was step two so step three is actually requiring us to grab a brand new one of those and two more of these blue ones here yeah and attach them here short side of the blue in just one circle down from the top whichever side you choose to be the top it may not be the top it's the the this side and it's going to get attached to our other assembly. Like that. Ah, oh, yeah. Now we got something going. Now we got something going. There's structure. Okay. That was step three. Check. Step four. We have a sub assembly. To make, it's going to require one of these black cylindrical thingies. One of these, I don't know, is that long enough? And it doesn't feel right. I mean, it looks as long as the one in the picture, but the one in the picture might have more holes. Probably ought to count them. Dang, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. It's not thirteen there. It's only seven there. That's the one with thirteen. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Bingo. We found it. We found it. It's not, you know, it's not kid stuff. Hmm.
Yeah, so. We're going to take that and add that to our parts file for this portion of the build, the sub-assembly build, the sub-assembly build. So, the computer, right? I got it all built together. As you can go back and see in the videos, I had to build it twice. Um, the case I got, you know, wasn't big enough, which that's something that I could have known before I got it. Um, I got it in haste. There's that. But anyway, I put it into my old um, case, which is a really good case. I like it. Fits in there well. And you can see that in the old videos. Now, what am I doing here? This. We're looking for the L bracket. I was thinking it'd be in there. But it might be over here. It could certainly hide itself really well over here. So it's probably not there. Probably back over here. L. Oh, is it, it's gray. I was looking for a black one. That's, that's probably gray. Dark gray. Yeah? I found it. So this, building our sub-assembly, is going to go in the first hole. Nah. Oh, watch it. We'll retrieve that from the file pile. The file pile. Boop. And then this. It's got that hole in it. Come on. Get get it. Get it. Oh, you know what? That's a boy. Hang on. Hang. Hang on. Just a minute. Hold the phone. That's not light enough, huh? Okay. It's just, it would be too dark, but that was a lot of glare. I gotta save you from that. Tough. My elbow right there, maybe. You know, it's the price you pay. You have things well lit, you get glare. You know, when you're not the professional, right? This isn't Hollywood. Stufflebeam building Legos. That's going in there like that. You see it? We did it. Then this. Get it oriented, right? Go right in there. Seeing that? Magical. Well. lego -y. It did it. Our sub assembly is complete. We're ready to install. Now, really regret not pulling my chair forward. Not getting the lumbar support I need. I'm thinking, right? Is that right? Yeah, we want that triangle right up in there, which means inserting the black one down there. And the blue one there. Oh, easy does it, fella. Guy. <laughs> that went in good. This one. Kind of a... Oh, there we go. Can shimmy a little bit. We're getting wet. We're, we're getting places. Moving forward, we're turning the page. That was step four. We're on to step five now. Oh, what's this? The Camaro name fit with the Chevrolet traditional or tradition of starting most of their models with the letter C Corvette or Corvette. Um, What, what is that? Chevrolet? I can't read. Anyway, etc. I didn't realize that, but I can, you know, the CC, huh? Traditional. I'm glad they pointed that out because I didn't catch that, which isn't surprising. Okay. 
That's something for smart people. Okay, we're doing the same thing again, but for the other side of our sub-assembly. Find that one there, put that in here. Our parts list needs to be satisfied as one of those. We need one of these little cylindrical pieces and the dark gray L bracket or, you know, thing, flat, uh, the thing. That's our parts. We're putting them together. Subassembly being assembled. That goes in there. This goes in there. Feels good. Kind of gets squared up because it would rotate if you let it. It would. Now this again goes out here. Oh, 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 oh. Watch what you're doing there. Yeah, we got it on there right this time and now ready to be installed. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right. It came together. Sure did. That. We're going places. That was step five. Moving on to step six. Oh, some parts are trying to get away. Yeah. All right. Step six. We need some parts. Let's get our parts together. One of those. We need one of these. Four by one. Flat. See it? Ah. Oh, let's gather this in so you can see everything. It's just the parts up there. Or the decals. Nothing back there except the letter, letter opener. That and that. And we're missing this piece still. Not missing, just haven't re retrieved it from the pile. Two of them. Please. Thank you. Um, right. A little bit of sub-assembly. Easy. We can do this. There. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so the yellow one's going to go down in here. Like that. Then these. Off the side. There. Oh. There. Good. Yeah. So, I, you know, the computer, I told you, yep, uh, you know, after I pieced it together, um, downloaded the BIOS file to a to a drive, put that in the little easy BIOS thing, follow the instructions, push the button, light flashes while it updates the BIOS. Took about five minutes, maybe. Could take longer depending on the arrangement you have. And then after that, yeah, it booted right into the to the BIOS. Put the thumb drive in with the operating system. Get to reboot so I can see it. Tell it to boot from there. Get to reboot. Did its thing. Works well. We'll try it out later. Um, yeah. Where are we at? We did that one. I have to do seven. 
Yeah. My tummy's telling me I'm hungry. I like I know I didn't get a chance to I had a little bit of breakfast, but that was some time ago. Yeah. I should have had some lunch before I started in on this, but we'll go here for we'll get through this and then I'll go get something to eat. And we'll come back and do something else. For step seven, it's just this one piece, this nice light blue piece right here. It's kind of a sky blue. Wonder if you're even ever gonna see that. It's a cool color. That's a pretty color. Turning the page. Means we're on step eight. Step eight looks like we got another sub sub assembly. Yeah. Things are growing. We'll need this. Oh, the smaller old black one. Got that. Just one of those, one and one. Four of the blue. Cylindrical type. And then four. Uh, the shorter black ones. All four of them, man. All four. We got it. Do this. Well, all right. Is it that? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Like that. Put that there. It's done. This one goes over here. Like that. And that's done. And that's done. Yeah, you know, building your own computer is like, it's, it's a thing. It's not... Not always straightforward. Bound to get some hiccups. The more you do it, I'm sure the easier it get. The thing is, you know, you only do it once a decade, once every five years, maybe. Once every three years, if you're like hardcore, maybe. But yeah, well, all right. So it gets to where you know the whole it's it's the sourdough bread analogy that I use in this this you know it's just it's my analogy. Uh, bear with me on this. So our sub assembly is done. We're ready to install that. It's going on the the this end of it. Don't know which way is the front or the back at this point. Or correctly oriented. Getting substantial. Hard to can't fit in that camera like that. Here, gotta get all the way back here. Yeah. So that was step eight. Step nine is where we're at. Two of these. I don't think that's the right one, is it? It's got to be. No. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 11. That does not have 11 on it. It's also black, and these are gray. Light gray. It's probably the light gray ones over here with 11 holes in them. Two of them. We found them. They go right here. And back there, they're highlighted. That's that's cool. Wish the spaceship had been highlighted. Remember that? Could have gone with some highlighting in a couple of places. It was all right though. I think this is what we're doing here. Ooh, I wonder if we can do something cool like that. Nice. Good method. Try that again. Ah, good method. I'm so proud of me. <laughs> that was number 10. No, that was number 9. Number 10 would be the next step, which we'll have to gather up some parts for. 
It's the ones I was trying to push on us for step nine. We'll use them now in step 10. And these ones, four of them. That's gluttony. Ah, oh, I thought for sure it's got to be under there. There it is. All right. Do that. On the light blue side. Where are these go? Oh, down here. Hmm? No, oh, something's wrong. Isn't it? Oh. Yep, I've, 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 I've made an error. There's four between them, and I got the four between them, but this one should be on the end, which means that one's got to come one back as well. Ah, oh, I'm dumb. We worked it out, though. We worked it out. We worked it out. Figured out our trouble. Goes all the way up here on the end. You know what? I think I attached it to the wrong side is what it is. Had these. Yeah, because this one's on the end. I could have just done that if I take that off. It's all right. Still have to bring this off, so it's okay. We worked it out. We'll get there. Fix that mistake. Everything can be just fine. I was so happy about that method. Like, it's a method. Mm -hmm. Easy peasy. Okay, now back to where we were. These go down there. We can continue using this. Superior assembly method. Nice. <laughs> and these go on each. I know. I know many of you were thinking it. And it crossed my mind. I was like, oh, was that this, this? Those put the wheels on there and that's all the car is? No. Sure, there's more to it. Ready to go. Let's go. Done. That's step 10. So let's go ahead, move on to step 11. In step 11, oh my goodness. Is it this one? Yeah, I think so. It's going to go flush here along that one there and should end up flush here. Oh, yeah, with the squeeze.
That's installed. Step 12. Oh, look at all this that we're going to get done. Step 12, we're going to require two of these. Actually, larger than the one we just did. There's one of them. That's the second one. We need this as well. That's that one. And one of these. That one there. We're ready for installation. Let's do it. These will go here. We'll pinch from underneath to help. Next one. This might be the floorboard. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's on there. Next, dark gray one. Mm, yep, this kind of goes not quite all the way out. Covers up as much as it covers. Now with this up against here, it goes there. Check. Step 12 is done. Step 13, looks like, looks like we got a sub-assembly to work on here, so we need some parts. Two of these yellow lanterns type thing, you know what I mean. And two of these. These are the ones with the, the plus, plus sign shape, if you look at them. Like that. Mm -hmm, mm hmm They certainly are. We'll have two of them, and then we need two with the gray lantern type. Ooh, no, they're not. They are... They're seeing a one-by-one one standard size, but with a plus mark in them. A little plus symbol. Not the lantern type. Oh, this isn't a lantern type either. It had the little lip on there. Flat on one side and has got an opening on another. But this isn't that at all. It's a custom piece. Like a single one of those. Subassembly. Short side of the black stick goes in there. Put that through the plus sign. Oh, get it oriented right. It's an orientation now. Well, you can put it in another way and then straighten it up when they come together, I guess. Either way you want to do it. Do that two times. Still missing a piece here from my parts list. Or I haven't retrieved it yet. Hope it's not missing. Can't be. It's right here. Found it. This was in there. That find a way to get this on there. Zippity doo da. Straighten that out. Ready for installation. Go right there and there. Done finished with that it's on there returning the page step 14 ah nice little green bit ah, I can see that one right off right for a sub assembly one of those one of those two of these like a hinge Flat one by twos with a hinge on one side or something. See everything? Yeah, everything's in view. You know, if you want to build a head or something. What's this? That's cool. 
There's a custom part. Not sure what that's going to go to. It's not what we're looking for. We're looking for those. Aww. Oh, there's one of them. Uh-huh. There's the other. Then we'll get one of those. Is it that? I'm going to say it's that. That we were after. And that there. Ready to do it. Ready. Just as instructed for the sub-assembly. That's what we're going to do to the best of our ability. This one here? Yeah, I'm feeling that. Feeling it. Oh. That's why that's got to go there. Bring it up. And these could go up there with this little potential hinge thing. There. Whatever it's going to be used for. Could be a door opening. I don't know. Maybe not. Could be nothing. Sub assembly is ready to be installed. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I think that's it. Step 15, just this, twice. Do that. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's got a little step down in there that that's going to fit nicely into. Tack all that together. Do that on both sides. That could be the beginning of the wheel, where the wheel goes. Still, I don't want to guess ahead. It might not be. Might be more to be made. I don't know. I've never built this one before. That was step 15. Now we're on step 16. Get rid of some of that glare. Uh, get our parts list here. There's two of these. That's one of them. There's your second one. Uh, what else? Two of these. Big red square. Big red square. And one of those. Oh. It's a cool piece. Got it. Do all that. All right. Okay. Flat ones go on the outside right here. And right there, symmetrically. Red ones go here. And here. Blue one goes in the middle. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Feels good. Nice, satisfying snap. I was missing that about building the computer. That's something I remember from the last time I did it. And, yep. Oh, I didn't finish my story about the sourdough bread. And computers, it's like, you know, in order to make sourdough bread, you need sourdough bread starter, which is something you get from making sourdough bread. You see the problem there. You can't make sourdough bread without sourdough bread starter that has to be made by making a batch of sourdough bread.
apparently it's a thing that people have sourdough bread starter in their cupboard in the back that they got from their been passed down for generations. Well, how does that fit with a computer? Well, can't build a computer without a computer. And that's getting even harder and harder. <laughs> well, yeah, can't build a computer without a computer. Still, luckily, you can build a computer without it being connected to the internet. Then it's got to be connected shortly thereafter. But it can be done. But right, you do need, yeah, you need a computer to build a computer. Borrow one from a friend or something. You're going to need it. Not that they have to get it, you know. Uh, unless you're getting a, a, a motherboard that already has an up-to-date BIOS, but generally if you change out the chip or something like that, um, the BIOS is going to need a reinstallation. Or if you're getting a new one, you're going to have to install the BIOS on it for it to boot up. And to get that, you're going to have to get online, to get that, and you're going to need a computer for that. Well, I guess maybe a phone would do it. I don't know if a phone would download something to a USB. You might be able to find an adapter. It might, it might be, but you're going to need some electronic device um, to get a BIOS to put onto your motherboard so it'll work. Yeah, it's, and it's just the process. It's it's part of it. This is much the process of. Tightening the screws and putting the motherboard into the case. Yeah, we got that piece. We got this piece. We got that piece. Two of these pieces. Found them. Two of these pieces. Yeah. And, I, you know, back in the day, certainly it was like, it was just like, right when I told my uncle I was building a new computer, he's like, you're going to have to get your soldering iron out? I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, back in his day, right? You had to solder in the pins. And and then, right, how do you get the BIOS? You have to know what you're doing and type your basic in out system up. Yep, or read it out of a manual and type it in. Something like that. Because otherwise, yeah, it's not going to work without a BIOS. Got to get one from somewhere. Or type it out yourself. Something. I think we're ready. No, no, we're missing those pieces. Ah, there's one of them. It's a lot of fun building your own computer, but it's very nerve-wracking. It got to be patient. <laughs> I'd love to be able to do it for a living. I'm sure I'd get really good at it as, you know, the more I built. But one every ten years, it's, you know, it's it's an activity. Going to take me an eight-hour session or more over a couple of days. And that's just building it. That doesn't, you know, getting all the parts to show up and um what have you did i not get the red ones out oh i was looking for them no i did i've already placed them moron don't be so hard on yourself guy yeah just said with love all right Oh, we're making headway. There's the blue one. It was right across the top. Yeah, kind of covering up that light blue. It'll probably get buried. They do that a lot. They're like they'll have something in the in the in the the build that just seems very odd, and it's like eventually it just gets covered up anyway. It's just part of the part of the puzzle. That's all it was. He's going to like that. I 
that's step 17. It's, you know, this whole time it's, it's had a pretty good structural feel to it. Yeah. You know, something I forgot to check. I don't think it did. Oh, I bet I can't do anything about that, huh? Yeah, can I? Well, I had chat on top. Yeah. Maybe? I don't know. I forgot to check the... Where is that? There, there? Yeah. Be all right. This is not a Hollywood production, man. So we're on step 18. Dark gray L brackets times two. Found it. And so these like Burgundy, perhaps? One by ones? Deep red color? Brown, maybe? Even? Two of those. I'm not sure how to describe those. A uh, bit of a loss. These are some L or shelf type things. Two of those. We're doing this. Hang off the edge there, right on this corner. Do I overlap? Nope, it goes right on. Right on there like that. Then the L bracket goes right there. And this burgundy piece, or brown piece, goes there. So the brown piece go there on that side. L bracket thing. Put this air, and then this hangs off over the side, like that. That was step 18. Step 19, parts list, lots of parts. Six of these, yeah, six of them. It's like, holy mac. There's four, five of them. That means six. Now look, eight. That's just got them all. Do this, huh? On both sides. Where's that? Get myself oriented here. Something gonna go along here. One of these, and then a black one. Yeah, that's a pretty cool piece. That right there, and a flat black right there. Another red one here. Flat black right there. Red. Repeat. What's that? Flat black one now. And then what? Red one. Did I go too far? No, right to the edge. Zing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Do it again, my friend. Yeah. Yep. Then there's a black one. Then we put the red one that hangs over the side. That cool custom piece. And the black one up top. Another red one. The last black one that we have. Oh. <sighs> we'll get there. Easy does it. This black one goes here. 
then the last red one. Hanging over the edge. Oh, I need a sip of coffee. In a bad way. That's done. That got us all the way through step 19. So we can start working on step 20. We're going to have to gather up some parts. Why don't you do that while I get a sip of coffee? Yeah, let's figure out. You can see them all. Hmm. Sorry about the glare. Who invented coffee? They did all right, my book. I think I came across coffee late in life. So I perhaps I was 17 or so, 18 ish. Early morning job. Friend was like, have a cup of coffee if you're tired, man. Like, really? That helps. Seemed to work all right. <laughs> By the end of the week, I think I like chugging, <laughs> chugging pots of coffee in the morning, every morning. It's like, this is great. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Some sub assemblies. Just putting these two together. This is, see, these are the kind of pieces that this combination here that you put together is like they're never coming apart. Good luck with that. That's like a permanent thing now. I mean, there's just got a tool as if. I don't think the tool accommodates this. <laughs> uh, another, right? And the last build we did, what was that? Was it the Mercedes Speed Team? Yeah, with the Formula One and the the Project One. Yeah, um, they had the, th the three-quarter size that was a, a custom piece, right? Which is what this would be, right? There's your standard height, and this is three-quarters of that. Like a flat is one-third. I'm not saying that right. The two-thirds piece, that's what I mean to say. Two-thirds piece, right? That's why I was so impressed with it, I guess, is because, right, if you make your own two-thirds piece... It, it kind of becomes a permanent two-thirds piece. <laughs> we'll do that with the L bracket as well. And you pretty much have the same trouble there. I mean, you're getting... Uh, you know, there are things, you know, that would probably be... Uh, you could almost get this L bracket. Yeah. Work with it. Get your nails in there just right. Get it between your teeth or something like that. Here we go. Back here. Filling it right there with a big squeeze. Got it. Then these. Oh, this is right. Asymmetrical. The L shape goes over here. Must be something with the engine going on. Just a guess. Could be in the trunk over here. I don't know. I don't know. I'm guessing. I'm excited. So there's that. Oh. Yep. Yeah. That would be the way to do it. That was step 20. We're on step 21. Step 21. Four times this... Whatever this is. Long, thin smoothie. In the deep gray. Times four. Got it. Putting them here. So now we're starting to side rail type stuff, maybe? I don't know. Even those two 
light gray ones opened working forward from there that's my game plan two on each side oh i broke it a little repair job here don't panic it's gonna be okay got it and there's that i think we did it next step 22 we're gonna gather up four of these that have this uh rail on the side it can be used quite ingeniously and sometimes just you know as filler but the rails for sliding stuff pretty cool and two of the shorties with rails all right yeah my tummy's talking to me says oh yeah people are supposed to eat Like, oh, okay. I'll do that someday. Eat. I think that goes on flush right there. Two on each side, I'm imagining. That feels good. And then the little guy up front. Fill this in. Great. Nope, that's not where that goes. Is it? There you are. Oh, hey. What's going on? Pressure was building. All right. That's pretty good. That's solid. Yeah. Ow. Check. Step 23. 18 of them. Wow. That's tough. One, two. Nope. Three, four, five, six. There's seven. That makes eight. Nine. We're halfway there. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, there was a lot of them, I might have miscounted, 18, okay, unless that was one I counted twice, I don't think so, hopefully we have enough in this pile, that there was 18 counted out, See if we actually have 18 because they're going to go all along here on each side. Why they didn't just make a longer one of these? I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't look as cool. Hmm. Huh. Just that one. It just it didn't want to go, so uh, I let it go. Uh, you know, it'll have some other place. It's like no, that's not my place. I'm not supposed to be put right there. It was pretty adamant about that. It's, it's another one. Like okay, if you know where you're supposed to be, we'll let you. Let you make that decision then. These other ones don't mind going wherever I put them. That should work well. Mm 
I mean, who am I to blow against the wind? Is this where you want to go? Let's find out. Yeah, I'm okay there. All right. There. Uh-huh. Got it. That one. That one. Boy, that was a lot of them. Just so they could have more pieces in there, I think. Uh-oh. See, yeah. I... Dang. It's right here. I did miscount then over there, unless I threw one that went away over there. But we, it's okay. We got them now. They're all present and accounted for and in place. Been installed. Moving on. Step 24. We'll gather two of these. There's one of them. These, what are you like a little lunch box or box or back seat rest or something kind of thing for the smaller figures, not for this model. It's a piece, a rail. Uh, you could probably hinge stuff on it. Yeah, it could be a door hinge thingy. I don't know how to describe those any better than that. These got the little hook on it. It's four of them that we're looking for. There's three. That'd be the fourth one. Now we're going to do this. They go here and here for these. Where do these go? There. And there. Let's figure that out. Then these go right next to the brown ones with the slant that way. I think the same on both sides. Yep. Good. These go right in the middle of the center of the black ones here. The hooks towards that way. <laughs> towards that way. You bet. You betcha. Don't know which way is the front or the back yet, so I can't really say. I put them on as instructed. Step 25. Things are heating up. Going to need to gather up some parts. These, these ones. Slant. Flat. Well, the, the slanted part's got that rough texture to it. It flattens up on top with the smooth texture. Two of those, three of those, four all together for step 25, which will find a home for them right on the back of those little gray ones we set on there last time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right. Good. And that. That was 25. Now we're on to 26. And gather up uh, one of these. Another brown or burgundy. Not sure what to call that. One of these. Whatever that is. And one of these. Whatever that is. No, it's the flat. One by two black. Um, hmm. Ah, sub-assembly. That goes there. Then we install these. 
where the L bracket was at, or the L shaped one. That goes here. As instructed, this one right next to it in the center. Step 27, we'll gather up three of these black one by four standard height and two of these two by twos with the big holes in it, tan flavored. One of those. Okay. Put those in like that across the, f f across the, I don't know if this is front or back, but asymmetric side. Oh, maybe that's an exhaust or something. <laughs> I'd be special if this was the underside of our vehicle. And we start building there. I doubt that's what's going on here, but I don't know what. I like guessing. That could be not. It could just be something that gets buried and you'll never see it. And it's just part of the model that they did there. Doesn't feel right. Hmm. These are supposed to be all the way out to the edge, aren't they? No, they're a little bit in. Just a little lip on there. Just give it a little lip. A little lip on that side. Okay, step 28. Find these L brackets. Two of those, and then two of these custom L brackets that kind of have the one triangular side shaved off. To do this. Yep, yellow and black is a good color combo. Let's see if that goes in there. That's a nice interlocking system. It looks like it. Anywho. Yeah. That was step 28. All right, step 29, sub-assembly. Two of these little red guys here. Two of these things, whatever that is. I don't know, what is that? Is that, is that this thing? Might be those closest thing to it. There's two of them. So that's what that'll be. And then there's two of these. And four of those. Rest of our parts there. Sub assembly. Assembly. And put those together, get the two thirds height. Put that little oval one by two there. And this thing, yeah, that's what it is. Can you see? I wasn't looking there. Looking over there. This thing. No. Oh. Custom piece. But we're going to put this red peg, bury it down in there. 
top side down. Just that little red peg there. Push into. Huh. That's pretty cool. I wonder what they're going to use that for. Do that twice. It could be, it could be, you know, something like that they'll do. They'll have us do that and it'll get completely buried and no one will ever know it's part of the build. Pretty cool that way. Keeps you guessing. It's a puzzle. <laughs> All right. These go here. And over there. All right. So there's uh, like so far. There's really no reason why that had to be an L bracket or L shaped piece. Or why this one had to be square rather than an L shape. Right. So far it's getting covered up. Unless we need to utilize that space down in there somehow. Place where you can put an extra sandwich for later. Step 30. One of those, two of these, and two of those. Doing it. Yeah, that goes right there. The squeeze, great piece on each side, brown piece on the last little digit there, and on the other side as well. Boom, could kind of square things up if you need to. Don't know what these are, and I'm curious to find out. Will they be nothing? Will they be functional? Will they be something? Well, something for us to put together. Step 31. Going to need the last one of those from this bag and two of these to go there. Across the top. Starting out on the edge, I gather. Had a feeling, felt right, that go in the center. And this one take us out to the other edge. Ah, nice. Zippity doo dah. Step 32. Gather up some parts, three of these, one, two, and three, two of these, one, and two. Do that. Coming off of this blue here. Start with a brown one on the outer. This little tag piece. Checking out. And that one there on the other side. Tan ones in the middle. There's a port there. Wonder what will become of it. Because we're still keeping it open. Now it's getting to be quite a deep. Deep little port there. Second one there. Anyway, that's step 32 done. I have a feeling. Yeah. So there's some extra pieces, which are not, it's not unusual. Extra pieces go in our extra piece pile. Not that these tires are extra pieces, but. Uh, Generally keep the extra pieces in a pile over there as we build along. Next step is the empty bag too. Um, oh, geez, did I miss something? I did. <laughs> Check the hill by the red piece. That was like ages ago, wasn't it? Yeah, like five minutes ago. Sorry about that. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Flip the hill. <laughs> Ah, too late. Oh, the L goes the other way? We can go back. 
does. It's not too late. Thank you. Thank you. Does it? Thank you. Found a mistake. Oh. Oh. Fishy. Thank you. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Oh. Ah. I think I got it right now. But this then, this then goes up in it. And that's the reason why the L is there. <laughs> right. Uh, thank you, Chelsea. <laughs> Ah, oh, awesome. <laughs> Saved the day right in the nick of time, too. Did that, is it, the chat's not coming up on screen, is it? Not that I've been able to see it, you know. I guess I missed some stuff earlier, but I got it. All right, thank you for that. All right, put that in wrong. Fishy in chat saves the day, a.k.a. AKA Chelsea. Yeah, thank you. Saw it in the bottom left. Yeah. Good. All right. But yeah, um, bag two would be next. But this is, is um, right, that's it for this one today. I'm going to wrap it up there. I will be coming back after a break. I got to get something to eat. Come back after a break, but I'm going to play a video game. I'm going to try out my new gaming computer. If you haven't seen the videos on that, it was a whole thing of building and I'm going to go play a game on it and try that out and we'll stream that. So hopefully it should be like butter and not hiccupy and good graphic settings. And I'll be excited. So. Anyway, there's that. So, um, yeah, let me end this one here. See you in the next one. All right. Bye. Thanks for all the help, Chelsea. Bye now. <laughs>